Is your Type C cable safe for your smartphone? Imagine that you went out for a day and as soon as you wanted to use your phone, you realize that it doesn't have enough juice left for the day. The most obvious thing is that you will charge it with a power bank. But wait, is that cable safe for your device? Actually it isn't. You need to go back and change something that you have done before. And choose the right cable which is safe for your device. Hey guys, it's Techie Bhatta here. And nowadays, every smartphone is following the Type-C standard. It was all going very well until Ben Sing Leung from Google rang a bell and claimed that some of the many Type-C USB cable in the market are not Type-C compliant or made according to the regulations of Google. But I don't care, it's charging my device pretty well after all. Yes, if your cable does not properly regulate the power, it will take too much of current and that may damage your charging port as well as your power brick. Then what should I use? The guy from Google was kind enough to provide some good reviews on the cables that are ok to use. Brands like Anchor, iOrange or Belkin are some of the brands that are making proper Type-C cables according to the regulations. Note that there is no problem in using Type-C to C cables. My personal favorite is Anchor's Powerline Plus USB A to C cables. It's a 3 feet cable with two available colors red and grey and the happy card is again here. Anchor never forgets to keep that but I have never seen a company packing a cable with a cover and that to a premium one with some sort of magnet with it. The cable is well built and it is made by Kevlar, yes the same material by which a bulletproof vest is made of. It's a nylon braided cable making it so strong that it can really pull a car. Right now I have some cables, are those safe to use? There is a simple app known as Checker which can be used to test the USB A to C cables. Cool, I'll leave a link in the description below for the Checker app and as well as the Anchors cable for the best updated price. If you're planning to buy a Type-C cable, then be sure to check Ben Sing Leung's website for all the cables that are USB Type-C compliant. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to share it because it may save someone's smartphone. What cable do you use to charge up your devices right now or you just prefer a charging dock? Let me know in the comments below. Till then keep exploring and I'll see you in the next one.